morning, and this is Off the Press, uh, the program where we take a look at the national dailies and try to understand what is going on in our country. With me to do so this morning is Energetic Ekene, uh, our in-house <laughs> political uh, in-house analyst. She just told me off air that you, you said you just did four kilometers. So <laughs> Ekene is very energetic. There's plenty of adrenaline, guys. Everybody, stay away. <laughs> All right, Ekene, it's good to have you with that energy this Monday morning. Thank you. I wish I could run as much, but hey, Ekene, the street isn't urging me as much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and stay focused on the headlines. <laughs> All right, let's begin with the Nation newspaper this morning. Uh, actor Pa Kasumu dies at 60. Colleagues mourn him. Uh, that's unfortunate. We're beginning on that sad note. God rest him. That story is on page five. Akere Delu draws battle line with party opponents, and that's the reason page 42. Amotekun bill returns for passage on Wednesday, lawmakers to act, and that's on page 8 of the Nation newspaper, already displayed there on your screens. Now, the big story, um, coronavirus, more than 100 Nigerians met with Italian. That's according to the Nation newspaper. Buhari says, don't panic. Uh, 43 quarantined in Plateau. Baby, uh, dog, get virus as new cases rise. Wow. Some will to meet with governors and council chiefs on the same matter. The story is on the front page, but it's continued on page 7. And right at the top, uh, we have uh, no regret seeking Sup Supreme Court's review of Bielsa judgment, says Olani Pekun. That's on page 11. And then Pro begins to into 35 billion Naira defense contract on the front page also. And then we have just a bit of stats here, coronavirus latest uh, cases. We have 87,690 cases and so far 2,994 deaths altogether. All right, why police should own uh, combat helicopters by DIG? Uh, nine die in a Loring road crash on page five. Can I, where do we begin this morning? Let's take on coronavirus. So I we know. Can, we can actually imagine that there's other news going mm. on in the world. Mm. Um, I think there's a lot of hype. Not that it's, you know, we're not trying to downplay it. Because okay. you know that people, when you, when you mention it. things like this, that is almost a global mm. epidemic, mm -hmm. um, then it tends to generate this kind of response. Mm. However, when I've spoken to people who are informed, doctors, medical practitioners, some of the reactions that are slightly m more illogical are the purchase of face masks. Mm -hmm. Because um, the, the logic Talk behind that really. is that if you wear, even at church, I saw some children wearing face masks, and oh, I now really? hear that the price has been hiked up to as oh, much yes, as 25,000 naira for a box. Yes. Even hand sanitizers are mm -hmm. out of stock, but soap and water was always there for us. But anyway, let's the just do the face, <laughs> face masks. Um, mm -hmm. Do you say fear or mm -hmm. scare? Um, if you're wearing a face mask, if you're, what are you wearing a face mask for? You need to ask yourself, is it to protect your nose from the, the particles in the air? No, of course you have to breathe air so those particles will get to you. Mm. So is it, what you're really trying to prevent is if someone sneezes and the droplets land mm. on your nose. But most likely someone sneezes you get out of the way. And so you're less some... likely to mm -hmm. be under someone who is sneezing droplets on you. Um, and someone who's is, critical, by the way, the mm, droplets will be from someone who's critical. Already in that state. So mm -hmm. it's a concentrated amount. So you're less likely to have that. And then, of course, there's a danger that if you wear them, most people won't wear them and remove them. Say the person did sneeze. So you're now even trapping the virus. You know, if, if, and, and some people say, okay, maybe the argument is that if you're the one sneezing, mm. you're protecting others. You need to be changing that, that mask repeatedly. And if you're, if you're in that state, you shouldn't be out in the public mm -hmm. place anyway. So um, overall, I feel this face mask mask thing is another example of how irrationally we respond to things like mm -hmm. this, almost going towards the salt water reaction mm -hmm. to Ebola. So I think we need to all calm down with the face mask thing and just do the general basic things that we know work. Wash your hands, avoid putting your hand to your face. If you go around, like this morning I came in, I went to the bathroom and I washed my hand with soap, mm. with soap and water, Probably. hand wash. And, and that's enough for me. And then I'm conscious when I sneeze, if I sneeze now, you sneeze into the elbow of your hand to prevent that same hand yeah. I use in shaking people, transferring germs all over the place. Knowing fully well that you'll touch surfaces that people touch, you know, mm. even when we sign in this morning where you put your thumb, wash your hands as often as you need to. Don't put your hand near your face. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and these are some of the standard things that if you do, it makes sense that you've done what you can to protect yourself. I mean, I agree with you because in the news this morning, our focus was spreading the facts mm -hmm. and not the, the fear. fear. Uh, because there's so much fear now around, you know, uh, I mean, some of us Everyone are wants paranoid. to live. Everybody <laughs> wants to live. Okay? And even, even if stress. somebody will have to die, don't die of coronavirus. <laughs> Goodness. I mean. <laughs> but you see, the, the other side of it as well, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to downplay it because people are dying, is that mm -hmm. a lot more people will survive from, you'll catch and, and you'll recover. Mm -hmm. So it has a, a higher recovery 
recovery rates than say Lassa fever. Okay. Um, and you know, we have more deaths on our hands by mm -hmm. Lassa fever already at this stage. So if people aren't running away and frightened by Lassa fever, Lassa. they need to calm down because ordinarily, unless you're a child or um, a very old person, you have the immune immunity built in mm. that should be able to withstand even an attack of coronavirus. It's not like when you catch it, you're dead. You don't, you die um, immediately. You, you, it tends to, unfortunately, ironically, you tend to have a buildup when you now quarantine people. Like, for example, if someone had coronavirus and you send them home and their family members are all in that space where mm. they're sneezing and coughing, then you're almost like you're condemning that group of people. Yeah. And ironically, that's what's happened in Wuhan because they had to almost like build a barricade around themselves. You mm. now have a concentration. And so okay. the more it hits your immune system, the less likely you are to recover from it. So in a, in a backward way, it, it almost you say built a kind of concentration yeah. of, of the virus in that mm -hmm. area, which is why you now have spiking going on because those very people are being exposed repetedly. So if there was a way of quarantining people in individual cubicles, mm -hmm. but we don't yet have Isolation. that facility. Yeah. But over to what we're doing in Lagos, I hear good, people are happy, generally speaking, mm -hmm. and that there's been a good response. They're happy with the Commissioner for Information. They're happy with the um, Disease Control Centre guy. Mm -hmm. They feel that both of them are really showing their, their, their mast or their metal. Mm -hmm. um, they say there are laboratories that have been set up, which are very expensive yeah, to set fact, up. Yeah, in fact, yeah, we, um, sorry, not to mm, continue. Please Yesterday, do. there was a press conference, so to speak, and our own, uh, we covered it, and we saw the visuals of the place, you know, even the governor and the deputy having to inspect, going there themselves. Oh, and wonderful. it's quite impressive mm -hmm. to say. Uh, so that gives us a bit of hope that, yes, um, if anything happens, there's, a, there's, there's somewhere. A there's going either, on. Yeah, so. And, and it's showing off the fact that you now have people. This is what happens when you have educated people. Apparently, he's a professor of some kind of uh, well-established uh, side of, of studies, mm -hmm. the, the Commissioner for Health. So he's mm. someone who's exposed, he's a technocrat. Mm, proactive. And now he's able to show his, mm. show his mettle. So again, this shows us what happens if in Nigeria you put the right people in, in, in positions of That's authority. Right. It gives you confidence that mm. they will think on their feet, they will respond in an intelligent way. Mm -hmm. And we hope we can see this replicated and across board. True, <laughs> no, we, we will see results mm. also. It's just like, you know, when this thing happened initially and people were saying, remember that the Chinese built um, their own How many place. Hospitals? Yeah, they did in um, is it ten days. Yes. And people say, oh, if it's in Nigeria, that will not happen. Yeah. But well, Look at it. another twenty-four hours. Several laboratories, yeah, not so, just one. So we are happy that mm. we have such. But I'm uh, also surprised that this Italian man managed to meet with as many as a hundred people. You almost want yeah. to say this guy was being irresponsible, really. No, well, uh, if he'd come in from Milan, <laughs> you ought to really have because I've heard of some Chinese people who have businesses in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They came in from China not because they were quarantined. Mm -hmm. They self-regulated, mm -hmm. so they put themselves away. I guess again, for fourteen days. Yeah. It's the responsible thing to do, it, not to be gallivanting. It is, but um, you know the way that says it, it doesn't manifest itself. But, but after for, fourteen days, so, so stay away for maybe days. he just I'm just not, as a precautionary just, measure. Yeah, I'm saying this for other people who may be coming into mm -hmm. the country. You're not doing anyone any good by running around trying mm -hmm. to save the just world. Just stay away. Stay Hold away on. for fourteen days. Not think the world won't collapse without just you. Just maybe your, the person yeah. is also free. But yes, hundred hundred persons is very is very very it's practical. A lot. Think of the the driver. Are you holding a conference? Exactly. <laughs> but think of the driver. I guess it's just not just him only, but mm -hmm. you know, the extended person. So yeah. if he met okay, the driver, okay, the see. driver would have then met someone else. Okay, fine. family and uh, all of that. That, that, that puts and, it in context. And if Thank he went to as big as a company, for mm -hmm. instance, yes, uh, where then, there are 50 yes, people, the you effect. know, all of that. Yes, secondary suppose, meets, Yeah, so yeah. they are tracing and tracking okay, all of that. That makes more sense. It didn't just go, I can then hug you. Hi, how are you? Anyways, we hope that we continue to spread the facts and not the fear about exactly. coronavirus and be in a place where we are even stable mentally mm -hmm. to you know handle the whole, the whole situation all right yes. let's move away from uh, coronavirus is there any uh, Ola, you were telling me yes, something Ola, about, yes um, i was surprised Jose. because the case the bielsa ruling and mm -hmm. uh, to find that yes we know the emo state some of us are waiting to see that reviewed but put mm -hmm. that to one side you now look at the case of bielsa where they said you know the the candidate who was disqualified had multiple do you say credentials mm -hmm. that were, you know each of them it just seemed falsified Different. You, you can't be all these people. Mm -hmm. And so what you're even surprised at is that he got as far as even put himself forward as a candidate yeah, in the first place. That's even the, that's even the, the main case. Yes. Again. How did he how did go such through? A person uh, they were supposed to be screened and, and checked yeah, their, their uh, documents. So it, it, mean, it means where. that something didn't happen. Yeah. You know, they just but then at least if, if the Supreme Court held that as a reason why they would disqualify him, most people would say, well, fair enough. Mm. You may be able to find issues here, technicalities, maybe they didn't disqualify someone in the past, but on the whole, you can't mm -hmm. really fault it. So generally, is it what the question we should be asking ourselves, if I was in Olani Pueku's shoes, right, is, is it worth challenging the integrity or you know the, the image or the credentials of the Supreme Court over 
just winning an argument, mm. so to speak, on a technicality. It's possible you could prove your case, but what you're doing to prove that, you're dismantling an institution that everyone holds as the last call. But we're not even sure he's going to go any file anyways. But why even make that challenge? Because, mm. because people value his opinion. They will now begin to think, oh, well, there's no smoke without fire. Because mm. he's saying time will tell. So we're now going to wait. And the same court you're asking to review have fined you. I mean, how mm. far will you go with this? That's really what I'm wondering. It's just some, maybe, it's, maybe it's a reputation thing for him now. OK, let's see how far he goes indeed. Mm. So we'll move away from that story, uh, that this uh, nation, and go to the vanguard in the interest of time. And FG uh, policies on palm oil industry Fail, how to Defense Minister's Chief of Staff Permanent Secretary diverted and shared 35 billion Naira arm cash. That interesting story is on page 10. Please grab a copy and find out who and uh, those involved. Again, we have the story of uh, the Nollywood actor, God rest him. And coronavirus again, <laughs> 54 persons in supervised self isolation. Okay. Uh, Mamora, Minister of State Health, says and Nigeria only preparing, not prepared. That's according to the NMA. Uh, Medical Doctors Association, 43 isolated in plate 2. We are, after all, uh, all cases of casual contact, according to NCDC, and the Lagos State Government upscaling facility says uh, some will now. Buhari uh, allays fears on page 9. Uh, Oshun Monarch Stacks or yet allow on implementation of education policy on page 11. And NCAA harmonizes uh, coronavirus prevention measures at airports. Good. And drop bill to give repentant terrorists a uh, foreign education. Serap tells president in APC PDP fight over COVID-19 index case. We are not ordained to abuse those in power, according to the Catholic bishops on page 10. And Buhari must heed, must heed go on OBJ's call on... Uh, Restructuring now. Um, okay, now. Who makes okay. that statement? Go very much. Heat, go on. Uh, that's Pandef. Okay. Afeni Ferre, the group of them, Pandef, Afeni Ferre, Ohaneze, and wow. Middle Belt leaders, all of them. Call it. <laughs> First of all, it was Obasanjo mm. who, you know, made that statement mm. in uh, an outing on Saturday. So, we're well, getting a lot more coordinated, do you say, uh, challenges to the presidency. Um, I remember even with the case, was it with the case of. Um, when the president defended the legislature's um, remuneration mm -hmm. and you had a coalition of mm. um, the labor uh, organization and the Nigerian Bar Association mm -hmm. both standing up and saying this is no, nonsense. No, this shouldn't work. And now we hear he's done a U-turn. Mm. And now you're hearing that Pandef, a coalition. I, I wonder if we should be happy about this because I it looks we like should. we're now having a more active mm -hmm. democracy. But um, I guess it, maybe it's a sign that the writing is on the wall mm. and we really ought to be looking for the way forward. And so, yes, I'm in support. Let's let's revisit this whole restructuring mm -hmm. business. It's timely. Let's have a Let's not assume that we're on the right, you know, you're, you're going to a destination and you're not in the right vehicle. Let's, let's, let's look at everything. Mm -hmm. Let's review it. Yeah, let's and then the defense ministers, you know, it's worrying when you hear this kind of money. Is it 35, 35 billion? 35 billion naira. Okay, no. on a, you know, it, and, um, <laughs> it's just that we're hearing about it. Otherwise, we would not know that such money was being you know, snuck on there. Or and yes, we say we don't have this, you know, we don't have facilities for our uh, uh, soldiers. Well, These are the kind of things that provoke people to feel disenfranchised. You yeah. feel as if you're not part of what's going on. You feel mm. as if you're being robbed under your nose. Because why should two individuals Defense ministers who should really be guarding the the, the country's um, monetary wealth for the purpose of the, the soldiers and for their welfare be handling this money and obviously for their own private gain. Mm. We hope to hear more of this. We hope yeah. it doesn't die the death. We hope we can follow it through and bring them to book because that's the only way people will feel that somehow they're getting some def some protection from people like I this. I agree with you. Mm. Uh, now talking about um, calling our leaders and having conversation and asking questions. Now Serap again is asking the uh, Senate, I believe you've seen that news, yeah. to drop the bill to give repentant terrorists a foreign education. Again, you know, most people will say, are you waiting for Serap to say this? Like how do they even think of that? How do you imagine? The only argument I've heard that, it, not that it, it doesn't in any way explain it, 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 but it's sort of, you can see that it, it's a kind of game of chess in their minds. Um, so, for example, people said they likened it to the fact that um, the Niger Delta militants got amnesty and that that seems to be the game being played. So if you don't settle these people the way you settle the Niger, uh, you know, Niger Delta militants, then you're likely to keep getting... But, I, I mean, when but, you... But even, you can't even compare the settling, the Niger Delta one... They were sent the, abroad to yeah. school, education, so, and so on, and money, huge sums. Have been, I'm not trying to say that. You shouldn't bargain with this the kind of The point is, group, either really. way, I'm not sure they, they can mm. even put their hand, hand on their chest or beat their chest and say the Niger Delta amnesty has worked. Because what, exactly. you, what you really have are people whom you've now almost like whet their appetite for what can be achieved through holding the government to ransom. Mm. And you're, you're, how are you going to stop that now? 
you know, it's possible you can point the finger at a few rehabilitated people in the midst of all of this, but for every rehabilitated person, someone even said, one of the commentators, that he knows people from Edo State, because that's where he's from, who their names are signed on to this amnesty program because they don't have a qualified number of people who are claiming this amnesty. And they're, maybe they're in Lagos and they, every month they just know that this amount enters their account, almost like the ghost worker hmm. syndrome. So who are we fooling Again, here? accountability who and are we fooling? Yes, when you don't have systemic programs on ground, accountability, like you say, figures that people can quantify and, you know, some kind of transparency. Hmm. Of course this is going to happen. And you almost want to say that a lot of people know when this starts that this is almost like another security vote umbrella mm. where they can sneak money out from under the radar. And that's what um, this Boko Haram smacks of, mm. that people feel that, well, these people have got their own, we want we our own, and then maybe soon, I pop too. I'm, I'm not trying to inspire yeah, I know what this kind mean. of thinking mm. because I hate it. Mm. But I'm just trying to say that this is what this says. This sort of dangles a carrot in front of anyone who is thinking, hold, you know, hold the government mm. to ransom. This is why most countries say they don't negotiate with terrorists. Yeah, and I mean, you've just made a very important point there because that's this same, like, actually holding the government, you know, holding them ransom, and they say you have no option where we have to settle them. And is that the way forward? Look at the cost of I'm settling not, them. I'm not sure, honestly, I'm not sure. When we have reissues, uh, you know, uh, bedeviling us in this country. Now, yes. let's go to this day, uh, newspaper. I can, we're just going to round up very quickly okay. because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, no. <laughs> yes, I know you're, after your four kilometers, <laughs> You, you can do much more. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 promises affordable rice and visit Stanley Group's meal on the front page. And Buhari sad over coronavirus, ask Nigerians not to panic. No cause for alarm and Mifele assures investors. Well, why did he keep, why did it take so long Who? for so, Mr. President to, to even panic. talk about? No, some are saying he shouldn't have said anything because oh, really? why should somebody who rushes off to the UK to treat an air infection, oh. that's what I heard this morning, <laughs> be the one to tell us not to panic. Mm. You know, if he wasn't panicking, he should have stayed here and, and had his air treated oh, like every, every normal human being. Mm. Uh, you know, so... Um, Mm, they're saying that maybe he, I, I, the truth is he, there's nothing he can really say at this there's point that would be scrutinized yes. with a, a magnifying glass and analyze mm -hmm. them. So I don't really, I think the best thing is to say as little as possible. <laughs> to just please oh, Nigerians. Goodness. But anyways, Nigerians are already displaced, so there's no point. Oh. Even if you have to, we expected that well. Well, look, maybe he have... could just commend the Lagos state government yeah, because right. that, that's the sentiment that would, you know, mm. go well with some of us. We mm. see they're doing well commend them and, and give specifics of how they're impressing the rest of mm. us because that will then reinforce the confidence that most people want to have that mm. look we have the right people in place and they're taking the right kind of action mm. all right okay we'll just not panic uh, not because no, there's no point. <laughs> i've never believed in panic anyway. yeah because we we are sticking to facts mm. and not fear yeah we'll not nothing, panic. even if you were yeah. you, you were in a really difficult situation panicking wouldn't solve it that's right mm. all right um again the final paper here is a punch uh, coronavirus isolation centers facilities in fct ogun others not ready uh, federal government deploys uh, more doctors in airports uh killings cut Catholics protest say Buhari's silence sowing seed of mistrust. Uh, these are many more, really, you can get on the Punch newspaper. I, can, I know you're very energetic, but in the interest <laughs> I'll of I'll save some of that. <laughs> yes, we'll end it here, and I want mm. to say thank you very much uh, for coming uh, this morning to help me make sense of all that is happening on our national day. This. We'll do this uh, throughout the week, Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. here on Plus TV Africa. And the show is of the press, and always, I am Amaka Okwe, saying have yourselves a great day ahead of you. Thank you.